Today on Addicted to Gear, we're going to be talking about your Desert Island guitar. Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name's Tony. Today we're talking about your choice for a desert island guitar. I don't know if you've thought about this, but I've been asked many times over because of my vast guitar collection, which one of my guitars is my favorite? In other words, if I was gonna be stuck on a desert island, which guitar would I take with me? The answer to that, after giving it lots of thought, is this guitar that I'm holding in my hands right here. This is a Tokai LS65. As far as I can tell, I say that because the Tokai guitars, the information in terms of dating and identifying these Tokai guitars sometimes gets a little bit murky. You kind of have to do your homework on them. But as far as I can tell, this is an uh, LS65, which I bought used. This guitar is actually was made in 2005 and I owned this guitar for at least nine years now. Um, and it's the guitar that has the mojo for me. Um, I own other guitars, including Gibson guitars as well. But this guitar is the guitar that keeps me coming back for more. It just has the mojo, the tone, the feel. It is just perfect in every way for me. I love this guitar and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, I've been enjoying this guitar for many, many years and I really feel like this is probably the last guitar that I'd like to part with. It's not the most expensive and it's not the fanciest guitar that I own. There's other guitars that I own that look much sharper than this one, but this one has it. So um, for me, this is my choice. So I never actually did a full review on this guitar that was um, of good quality, that basically justified the effort. So I will follow up this video with a full review on this guitar, including sound samples so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, in the meantime, if you want to hear this guitar, I will put a link to an old video that I did on this guitar where I'm playing it through a uh, Rocket Retro, um, it's a Marshall Plexi clone. Very, very good amplifier, by the way. And I was playing it through this guitar. Um, that recording was done with an iPhone, so take it with a grain of salt. But um, I will create another video on this guitar for you because I think it deserves it. It's a great guitar. That being said, this brings us to the question at hand, and I hope you guys are willing to participate in this little social experiment uh, because I want to hear your answers. So the idea here is let's establish a scenario. Let's say you're headed off to a desert island where you will have to stay for the rest of your life. You got shelter, you got food, you know, you got all of the necessities except for one thing, one of your guitars. So I want you to select one guitar from your collection that would end up being your desert island guitar. Now you can't select somebody else's guitar or a guitar that you have not owned. So you can't say, hey, I would love my desert island guitar to be Jimmy Page's guitar or Eddie Van Halen's guitar. That won't work. You have has to be, there are some rules. So it has to be a guitar that you either own presently, currently, or that you've owned in the past, but you it has to be a guitar that you have owned. And I want to hear about it. I want to hear why you've selected that guitar and what makes that your choice for your desert island guitar. It could be a guitar that you no longer own. We've all made mistakes where we've had a really killer guitar and we didn't realize what we had at the time and ended up selling it and maybe regretted it. Uh, I've done that in the past as well. Um, so those count as long as they were owned by you at one point in time. Give us your comments below. Let us know which guitar was your selection for your Desert Island guitar and why. What made that guitar special for you? I'm really curious to hear your comments on that and maybe we'll learn something about each other. I shared a little bit about me today. Hopefully you'll share a little bit about you and uh, we'll have some interesting comments. 
So if you like this kind of content and you like this kind of information that we're sharing here on Addicted to Gear, please subscribe because there'll be more interesting videos like this one coming up as well as, like I mentioned, the review on this Tokai guitar as well. So consider subscribing, hit the little bell icon and stay tuned because there'll be more right here on Addicted to Gear. See you soon.